everyone it's mary here i wanted to show you what i got at staples this is for planning this year and getting on track financially and hopefully getting on track with keeping tabs on all the kids and everything like that so first up i picked up this really cute zippered pouch now if you follow dave ramsey you know that he promotes the envelope system so i did get that for that um it has this compartment and this compartment and the center zipper. I'm going to use them for cash. And then there's two smaller ones I'm going to use for gift cards and uh, receipts or coupons or something like that. So this is made by Paper Chase. And the only downfall to this is I have a Vera Bradley um, crossbody bag that I wear. And it's a little bit too tall so this is how much so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like fold it over or something because I really do like it so if I just fold that little bit there then it'll zip up so I'll just make it work all right so next up I have this home and office budget book now I've done a million print printables I've done Excel sheets I've highlighted I've crossed out I've circled I've done it all so I'm gonna try something new this year and I like this because at the end of the year I can look back at this and everything will be in this one book I don't have to worry about going into my planner or doing this or that so this was from Staples this was $13.99 I think I'm pretty sure that's what it was this was the only one that they offered for the home they had a lot of business ones but i specifically wanted one for home so you open it up let's see so they give you a sample of how to use it across the top they have uh your income and then let me turn to a page that isn't a sample that way you can see better okay guys so here you can see you enter in the month and the year and then it has the different expenses like mortgage electric insurance um, cell phones credit card debt dining out all that and then there's a couple blank spaces down here that you can also fill in up at the top here it has your income any additional income but it goes by the first the second the third and it goes up to five weeks because if you get paid weekly you do have five paychecks some months so it has that and since this is not um, specified per month like you'll write in whatever month you want that's why they do the five weeks moving on you have your net worth statement you'll fill in everything to give you your net worth your total assets liabilities and net worth and then on the next it's the expense journal this will help you get ready for taxes or just even for your own knowledge to know what was spent and all that so your income you can write here if you want taxes you can record all of um, the taxes that you've paid this is medical and prescriptions interest paid oops we have donations and gifts so that could be for tithing that could be for any kind of um, donations that you've given that's going to be tax deductible this is for any losses if there was um, any kind of theft in your house or any kind of fire any kind of damage that you would be reimbursed for these are adjustments and credits um, so it says document deductions other than standard or itemized including alimony moving expenses expenses interest penalty due to early withdrawal of savings blah 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 okay over here job expenses money market stocks ira mutual funds cds and bonds education miscellaneous homeowners and renters insurance luxury items personal health insurance car insurance and it's nice because you can enter your information in here so you don't have to run out to the car to get it if you don't have it inside like some people uh, dental and eye care and then this is nice because anything you do to your house you can note that exterior you can write when it was painted new windows and all that 
major purchases could be a washing machine. You can write your model number, serial number. And again, you have all this handy. You don't have to go to your machine when you want to call for information. You can just pull out your book and look at it. Miscellaneous. And that's that for the book. Okay, moving on to the planner. Now, I've never been one to drop $50 on a planner. Usually I start out really good with planners, but then I kind of just taper off and I don't even open it anymore. But I do like to keep important papers in it and I know that I can go to my planner to get those papers if needed. So I found this one at Staples today. It's called the Arc Planner. This was only $14.99. So I'm like, you know what, that's doable. I usually buy the Blue Sky one at Target and that one's $14.99 as well, I believe. And this one has more of like an Erin Condren um, feel and look of it than the blue sky one so i really like it okay so this is just the cover you can get a different cover if you would like um they have these little they kind of remind me of buttons and they just slip in there and you can just change this very easily now these i bought it was a two pack you just snap it in and the reason I got this is I wanted to be able to have my budget book and just slip it into my planner. And this is where, this, I can just take that off. This is where this will stay when I'm not using it. And that's a two-sided pocket. So I can put whatever in here, stamps, anything. Okay, this is the opening. And then this... Um, you can fill this out or you don't have to whatever birthdays here and then this was the second one I got now I got this and each month I will move it before the month and I'm going to save this for receipts so that I can enter in any information I need or save the receipts if I need to and then the next month I will put it in front of February so this is what the calendar looks like you have to enter in the dates on your own which I like because then it's not strictly just for 2017. So this is this. I still have to fill it in. I just got this. So then here is where I'm going to do my menu planning. <laughs> and I will fill it in there for the entire month. And then this is the end of February. We'll move to the back of the book. Somebody's not being very good. And then at the back of the book, you have, oh my goodness, you just have this note section, which will be good. And then that's the book. So pretty simple. Like I said, I'm not like a huge planner addict or anything, so I didn't need anything crazy. This fit the bill perfect. So hopefully you like this video, and if you're looking for inexpensive binder planner, then head to Staples and get one of these ARC binders. This is what it looks like. And they do have a bunch of accessories that you could put in here. Like you can change all these out to a different color. You can change the covers. You can add in these. They also have the dividers that snap in and then like little notebooks. And then there's rulers. I mean, there's a whole, whole lot you could spend money on. But I was going very basic. Stay in budget. So that's that. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and happy planning.